going on guys? It's Gearhead. Welcome to today's video and today we're reviewing something a little bit odd. Uh, we're reviewing a 6th generation console. Uh, this is my Sony PlayStation 2. Um, it is the slim model and it's in the silver color which I believe is rare for the slim. I'm not quite sure. But uh, let me just talk about the system real quick. We've got your power button here. On the right here in the bottom you have your disc tray release switch right there. You press it and it pops this up. Here's your disc tray. Uh, you have two memory card slots and two controller slot spots. As you can see, I've got my uh, Lava Glow wireless hooked up to it and my memory card. Um, this thing is so lightweight. I love it. But on the back, you've got your Ethernet cable, your digital output cable, your AV multi-out, and your DC power input. So anyway, let's get started with the actual review. We're going to re review it with some games on my computer, so the quality is about to go to complete trash. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get to work. But before that, we gotta set it up. So the first, what I typically do when I hook this thing back up into the wall is I will take it and I will put it up top on its uh, front end. A little bit since I have a bit of a shelf here I could use. Um, let's see if I can set this phone down right here. Maybe you guys can see it, hopefully. Um, probably not, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a struggle bus, but um, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but simply you take the bottom of the console, you take the AV, I think that, yeah, it's the AV out cord, plug that in, and then plug in the DC power input. Uh, now, typically, if I had an Ethernet cable down here, because my modem's upstairs, I would hook it in here and I could play online, but I don't have access to one. But yeah, so let's go ahead and now start playing some of the games. So the first game I want to try is this. This is Sonic Mega Collection. It's a game uh, compilation that has emulated versions of Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and & Knuckles, and uh, some of the Game Gear, game Gear games, such as uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic, the Sonic the Hedgehog Game Gear port, and stuff like that. Uh, I got this game as a gift for my birthday one year, because I used to be obsessed with Sonic as a kid. So, um, it's definitely something really cool to try. So, let's go ahead and start with this game. Alright, so here we are loading in Sonic's Mega Collection. Now, I don't know if it's reversed for you guys like it is on my screen. Um, I hope not. <laughs> but I'm having to use the face cam on my computer to load it right. So we'll start off with Sonic the Hedgehog, the original. This is the Sega Genesis version of the game, which is really cool. Um, my dad grew up playing this game. Yeah, this game's got everything you can think of. Gotta get every last one of them. Ooh, almost got killed. <laughs> Ooh. If you guys want to see gameplay of some of these older PlayStation 2 games, uh, like the video, and I'll probably... If I can get about 10 likes or so, I'll probably start doing gameplays of these things. Because I, I don't want to do stuff that people don't like, so... Even though it's probably the majority of my content. So first. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not the greatest at old Sonic, but, you know, I'm learning. I've, I've been playing this a lot lately on this system. There's 66 rings, come on. There we go. Oh, great. Now we have 69. I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. I mean, 69 rings or 66 rings? Special stages. I hate these things. I don't understand their existence. Go up there. No. Eat. Oh shoot. Haha! <laughs> I've avoided the end of the world. No. God ah, dang. It. Oh well. I hope the quality is not too bad. And I hope it's not like, like I'm hoping you guys can still see the gameplay, even though I'm pretty sure it's like flipped. Because the way I'm doing this is that I have my computer screen here with my webcam filming this because I don't like my phone you know I have issues filming on my phone anyway so I'm using the computer screens camera to film today okay I can't get up there apparently but yeah I'll show you guys the other games on this thing as well and I know you're probably gonna kill me for saying this but I really like Sonic 06. I never had glitches or anything with it. So, it didn't bug me that bad. This 
Switch, because this version of the game is a lot higher quality, a lot more colors put into the game. It looks gorgeous in comparison. Into a comparison to, uh, say, uh, the original Sonic. Hi. Hi there. Oh shoot, what's going on? Am I supposed to stay up there? Oh, I see. Ooh, almost got me. Boy. I haven't played Sonic Knuckles in like forever, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing, so... That's how you did that. Hey! This sticky thingy. Haha! I think I've kind of figured this game out. Oi! One on up. Keep her going. Mushroom boy over here. Ooh, got him. That was pretty good. Oh, shoot. What was that? Ah, not this crap again. No! Dang it! I mean, again, get out of here, kid. Ah, oh, dang it. What the French? Uh, I'm trying to time it. Duck on it! I quit this. Um, but yeah, that's Sonic Mega Collection. Let's go try out another game. Here's another one of the console's gems. Need for Speed Underground. This game sparked an entire just love for the urban car, country, co urban car culture for me. Uh, this is basically what sparked my love for the tuners. Um, this game was released in, I believe, 2004. Um, which is around the same time I really started paying paying attention to video games on the PlayStation 2. So, let's go ahead and pop it into the disk drive and play it. This intro basically set the game for me. This Mitsubishi Eclipse getting built right before your very eyes, and you know, the wing, the paintwork, the car, it's just gorgeous. And... It was just like, holy crap, this is going to be one of the best games on this system. And I honestly wouldn't blame them. This is probably one of the best games to come out on PS2. Well, it was succeeded well by Underground 2. Uh, the best, I'd say probably one of the best Need for Speed games that we released, probably the best, is Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Uh, otherwise known as the real Most Wanted, as I would say, because 2012's PlayStation 3 release was not my favorite. But yeah, we're playing Need for Speed Underground on PS2. So let's go ahead and get to the home menu. I'm gonna talk over the music because they're playing a Little John on the East Side. There we go. Right now, done. So I now we have no music. <laughs> but yeah, one thing that's really cool about this game is that you can just play through the game, you know, at your own pace. You don't have to hurry through it. You know, it's not a game that makes you feel rushed. And uh, for those of you who don't know, racing games are my favorite. I, I love these kinds of games. Underground, Underground 2. We'll go into Quick Race, but first I'll show you off the customization parts of this game. Uh, where is my dream car at? I know it's in this game. So the frame rate was not half bad for a game of its age. Here we go! Yes, the S13. Well yeah, you can get a choice between bumpers and body kits and all that stuff if, like, if the camera would work. Alright. I think it's my thumbstick. My thumbstick's broken. We'll do it with the Snyder bumper. The Snyder bumper. We're just going to do a full Snyder kit. 
the spoilers in this game aren't my favorite personally, but you know they do their work. So I mean, like it's not bad. Mm. Ooh. We'll do the Google slot roof scoop. Rims, all right, garbage, CH. I'm, I'm biased towards BBS, guys. Don't kill me. I will paint it red. And bam, we have ourselves a car. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, you can do manufacturer uh, vinyls, like this Alpine vinyl here. And you have layers, so you can pick out what you want. Uh, they have unique vinyls and all that cool stuff. I played through this game a little bit. So, um, I hate it when you do this. Oh, look at cat bags. Cool. We'll go to HKS. I'm biased with HKS, too. I don't really care. Oh, there's HKS. They have Pirelli. If they have Pirelli, I'm good. No, they have they have Kumo, so it's okay. I my old my Kia Spectra 5 had Kumos on. Ah! But yeah, the only thing that I don't like is that you have to buy stage one before you get stage two. Uh, which is kind of bothersome. Um, but you know, it does its work. Break kits, we'll go with Brembo. Is there a Brembo kit? There it is. Aim still in the Brembo. That's oh, got that locked. Looks like to me I've got everything but um, like certain parts that have a pro performance parts. Let's go with the HKS shocks, street performance. We'll go with the NOS kit, the Southern Nitrous Express. Um, but yeah, we'll store the custom car. Holy crap. The 240 there. But yeah, that is how you basically work the customization feature in this game. No, I'm going to go in easy because I'm a noob, guys. I haven't played this game in forever. I forgot I was going to do gameplays on this on my channel at one point. I think I may bring it back soon. I need to get a capture card for the, for the PS2. I've got one that I can, that I looked at. It was about 50 bucks, but it'll work on PS2 and PS3, which would be really cool because that means I could do quality videos with that shot. Ooh. My one complaint with Underground was the sound effects are completely inaccurate. What's the NOS button? This one? That's it, I found it. This keyboard is fast, good night. I know it's not catching as well on the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we don't only have five viewers. We're now 30.28, which is not bad. Check that out. We did it. But yeah, that's Need for Speed Underground 2. Why don't we check out one last game, and then we'll end this review off here. The last game I wanted to showcase was Gran Turismo 4, one of the most graphically intensive games ever released on the system. This game is apparently one of the only PS2 games to ever be able to run with HD graphics. And it's got it's probably one of the best Gran Turismo entries ever. I would say if... Uh, in the current generation of consoles, the best two Gran Turismo's were 4 and 5. Because 6 is okay, but I prefer 4. But anyway, let's get started on this game. But first, I want to talk about something else that is interesting with these old with the PS2. It can use backwards compatibility with PlayStation 1 games. For example, I have Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 2 on PlayStation. Um, I also have a memory card that I can use to save those games on the system. And it works. Now, I can't use the PS2 memory card to save the game, sadly. I had to get a memory card that was formatted for PlayStation 1 in order to even save my game progress. But, it doesn't matter. I can still use my my Lava Glow 2 DualShock controller, which is here. If you probably watch my controller comparison, you'll see, you'll see the controller. Um, let's go ahead and pop Gran Turismo 4 into the system and play it. Now, as I said, Gran Turismo 4 is probably one of the most graphically intensive games on the system to ever be released. Now, one thing I really loved about Gran Turismo 4 was their music choice for the intro of the game. Uh, if you've never heard of Van Halen, he was a musical artist in America, as you all know, probably. You've probably all heard of him. But he made probably one of the most popular songs. Uh, Hot for Teacher is one of them. Panama is my favorite by him by far. And I was introduced to the song by this game. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave simulation mode, which uh, I have a few, quite a few cars in. And we're going to go to the arcade mode of race instead. Because, but I'm going to show you guys the menus. Now, I probably cut out the other videos, the other clips in this video from where I played Sonic and where I played, um, 
Need for Speed, but I'm not gonna go do this because the menus in this game are just the best. Even though I really love the Grand Turismo Breeze menus. We're gonna go with the World Circuit because, well, why not? Let's see, do they have my track on here? I, I guess I just don't have it unlocked. The, the uh, circuit ever saw. We'll go with City Horses. Let's go to New York. Now, in Grand Turismo 3, it was literally situated, each car was individual, and you couldn't pick by manufacturer. However, they fixed this in Grand Turismo 4, where you can pick by country. If you want American cars, you can go to the American section and pick out an American car of your choice, which, speaking of, this game has tons. Um, you have Japanese cars. Um, do they have my dream car in here? If they have my dream car in here, I'm driving the crap out of that sucker. Alright, come on, give it to me. Where's my S13? There's one. I'll consider it. Looks like there's no 240, though. That's right, I'll drive the Sylvia. It's okay. Where is it? There you are. Oh, black. We'll go Sports Soft. Difficulty at zero. But yeah, we're driving the S13 on New York. I'm going to try to see if I can set the lap to like one or something. Because I do not want to do like a million laps out here. Because I am crazy like that. I will set like a million laps on one race. I've done it before. I've raced NPC. It's like 20 laps straight. Oh, my controls aren't messed up. I haven't played this in a while. Ah, oh, I've got my uh, Forza controls on me already. Yeah, this game is just gorgeous running on PS2. It may not be the same thing as like Grand Turismo 5 or 6, but the graphics were just so good for PlayStation 2. And the music just is on point in this game. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, and I hope not, because quite honestly, I don't want to get copyright claims on this video. Um, but by far, this is one of the best looking games on PS2. And uh, this is one of the coolest cars in the world, and one of the coolest tracks in the series. I love the New York track. Everyone said it was kind of difficult. Well, I mean, unless you do that like I just did and just turn into a wall. Um, the car is really quick, like, really quick, and I enjoy it. Uh, I love the S13. It's my dream car by far. And driving, and though it's the Japanese variant of the car, uh, I do love the car nonetheless. Uh, we're going to go to the camera view on the roof real quick. Um, on the back straight of the track, and the reason I'm kind of twitching is because, like I said, my left, thumb, my left thumbstick on this controller is a little sticky. So... Um, I kind of have to twitch in order to get it to work right. I'm in dead last, I just realized. I probably should have lowered the difficulty, because I haven't played in a while. I haven't really played this system in a while, but I thought, you know, I started playing Sonic again. I was like, you know what, I, I'm, I think I want to review my PS2. And I'll probably put the thumbnail as a picture that I took of my Xbox One and my PS2 next to each other. That was that was just a ridiculous comparison. I was like, huh, I wonder how many PS2s I can fit on top of my Xbox. Because for those of you who don't know, my Xbox is so big I couldn't put it on my shelf. I had to put it on top of a speaker. Because I didn't get the S. I had the option, because my birthday was literally like a couple days after the S was released. But the S is $300, while the standard Xbox One is $250. And we were, even though I could have gotten an S, because all the stuff my parents bought for it, it would it would have gone over way over $300. So, but it was cool. I got a headset, I got games and stuff for it. I also realized I could use the right thumbstick to drive, but it's I think it's broken too. <laughs> This controller is just completely shot. I, sad part is I don't throw this controller like I did, like I did my dual shots when I was little. It's just third-party controllers for you. My GameStop controller, I've got a GameStop controller I didn't show off in the controller comparison. It's just rough. But yeah, we finished in dead last. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while since I've played Gran Turismo 4. It's been a while since I've played Gran Turismo in general, because I kind of like took a break from it when I got Forza. Um, I probably will start bringing videos back on it, whether they be on this or on the uh, PS3. Yeah, dead last, zero age back points. Because <laughs> that's a way to make the S13 feel like a cool car. Oh, and my screen does this sometimes. If I uh, press the look back button, sometimes it'll stop. But. Anyway, I hope you guys just enjoyed um, that video. I know it was kind of a long one. But, uh, you know, I definitely had fun making this video and, like, giving a tribute to my one of my favorite consoles ever. Now, I want to talk real quick. The thing I want to talk about, though, with these consoles is I can only take two consoles with me when I move out. So, when I move out one day, whether it be next year or in a few years, um, you're not going to see any PS3 videos anymore. Or PS4, for that matter. Which really sucks. 
Uh, and that's one reason why I've kind of done a lot of stuff with the Xbox lately is because, well, it's it's my console. You know, I don't have to share it and stuff, you know. That was kind of the big thing I wanted. I wanted When I got another console, I wanted it to be 100% mine. Not like I wanted to be selfish about it and not share it. Uh, you can ask Liam Bomb Gaming. I share it with him all the time. But um, it it's uh, I wanted something I could take with me and still be up to date. But yeah, anyway, uh, the PS2 is the other system I can take. So I'll have a 6th gen and an 8th gen. So I'll probably start collecting consoles again once I move out. Get a PS3 or an Xbox 360. I don't know. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this review of the PS2. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I know it was kind of shot um, with uh, the camera probably being flipped on the video and all that stuff. But I hope that you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.